Good evening, brothers and sisters. It's your boy Sikkim. Go get him. We're in day three of the 31st dates with God. Today's attribute we're discussing is I am sacrifice. And we are reading in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 14 through 15. And it says, For the love of Christ compels us. Having concluded this, that one died for all, therefore all died. And he died for all so that they who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and rose again on their behalf. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So when we're talking about the subject of sacrifice, we think about Jesus going to the cross and dying for us and for our sins on the cross and becoming our savior, the savior of mankind. Yes. And that was the one true sacrifice, the one sacrifice that was all that was needed in order for us to get, be able to get back into the presence of the Father once again, to be reconciled to God and to become the righteousness of God through him. Absolutely. But there are more uh, various attributes to sacrifice that I think a lot of people are missing. And we have to look at when Jesus, just in general, for him coming out of his place of glory, coming off of his throne, being willing to humble himself and become flesh, to become human, to become sin, but yet without sin, just to be able to experience what it's like to live as a human, to go through all the trials and tribulations and the temptations that we have to endure as human beings. It says that we have a high priest that can sympathize with our weaknesses. He was tempted in all ways as we are, but yet without sin. So that's one of the great aspects of sacrifice. And then the other aspect of sacrifice we have to look at is Jesus growing up as a child. Now, when you think of children, you know, they, they, they're busy playing hide and seek or tag, or in Jesus's case, playing Marco Polo in the River of Jordan. But instead of all of that, Jesus chose to go to the temple daily to be taught the word of God just so he could be able to draw closer to the Father and have a greater understanding of the Word, have a greater understanding of the Father. So he dedicated his whole entire childhood to learning about the Lord. And in the other aspect of sacrifice, he dedicated himself to other people, even the sinners, even the people that, not just his disciples, but people that didn't even know him. People that were sick and afflicted with diseases, uh, cleansing the lepers, uh, Letting the blind, putting their hands on the blind and, let, and letting them see again. Uh, unstopping the deaf ears. So on and so forth. And even raising the dead. He dedicated his life to people. He didn't think about himself. Because it says here in verse 15 that he died for all so that they who live may not longer live for themselves. But for him, Jesus, who died and rose again on their behalf. So what Christ did through his entire life, his entire life spoke sacrifice. His entire life was dedicated to sacrifice on your behalf. So today, let's just reflect on that, the, the beautiful sacrifice of Jesus's life on our behalf. So that when we're out there and just in living life in general, that anytime we're thinking about being selfish in any way, shape or form, we need to remember the amount of incredible sacrifice that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has made on our behalf. Love y'all. I'll catch y'all on day four.